Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. I'm Steve. What's going on, everybody? Right into part two. Part two. The old masters. You think he's gonna do some chakra cleansing? Do you think he's gonna meet and talk to like old avatars avatar masters or old airbending masters? Could be. It's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be something spirit world related or if it's gonna be something like maybe we haven't seen yet or something with the avatars. I don't know. I think maybe it'll be all in the same. Yeah. It'll all relate. Because he would have to talk. Maybe he's just going to get advice. Maybe it's not even about the Avatar state. Maybe it's about going yeah, but to how get... did they get him to be in a trance and to that's swim to that island? That moves. Where did that island, island come from, right? I, at least that's the way it appeared that it was moving. Because all of a sudden it was out in the middle of the ocean. Just a traveling island, yeah. Yeah. That's why I feel like it's got to be something like spirit. But he's not like blue like he was when he goes to the spirit world. He's right? not in the spirit world, no. No, that's what I'm saying. No. So what is this? Right. Maybe, and now he's awake. Yeah, and now, like... It's something different maybe that we haven't seen yet. Right. Could be a group of people, could be... I don't know. Because wasn't the... What was the name of the episode where him and Zuko went and saw... Wasn't that the Old Masters as well? Or was that the... Those no, it was the Fire Masters. masters yeah. Okay. The Old Masters. It could be Old Airbending Masters. I mean, it's that's not out of the realm of possibility. No. I don't think. Yeah, because I feel like if it was Avatars, they wouldn't put... No one ever refers to them as masters. I mean, they are masters, obviously, but... Right, they are Avatars. Right. But I feel like it would say the old Avatars. <laughs> it was... <laughs> yeah. So maybe you're right. It to is past just the, Avatars. Yeah, maybe it's just the... Or old masters of whatever. It could even be like an earthbending clan, and it's like an old earthbending master or something. You know what or I mean? Like one it doesn't each, necessarily yeah. need to be... But I feel like there, but the I only two reasons be. for him to go there would be for fire. Well, no, for either for the Avatar state or for like something in regards to that, or to get advice on what he should do to fight without. Um, I think you're right, though. I think it is going to be air ma airbending masters because he's going to have to go talk to somebody that knows. Oh, one of the monks to get advice from them. That's that's got to be what it could is. be. But how how is that? That's why, I, that's the one thing we don't know, though, is how, how that would be possible. Correct. That could be a spirit world. Maybe he's going to meditate on it here. Maybe this has some kind of... Yeah, he can tap into the spirit world there. Something, right? Just like that space in the water kingdom. What's in the name? water, inside the water place. Remember it? Yeah, yep, it. yep. Totally forgot about that. <sighs> Let's just watch it. Please. Yeah. I see you worked things out with your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sheesh. I was only teasing. Does the end of the world sound like more fun? <laughs> <laughs> Best friends. Or he can't sense them. That's what I'm that's what I was saying, yeah. No, I mean he's gone gone. He doesn't exist. Must, yeah. Oh boy. They're in the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. There's only one other person in this world who can help us face the Fire Lord. I'll be right back with the smell sample. Find him. You saved your uncle's sweaty sandal? <laughs> Why did he save that? Who knows? Your uncle's somewhere beyond the wall. Nile is getting twitchy, so he can't be too far. It's Good overrun luck. by fire. Oh, that's right. I wish I had Roku. I do have Roku. There we now go. Now he's the spirit world. Yep. You're right, eh? Well, kind of. <laughs> oh, boy. Yes. So these are the old masters. Maybe, yeah. Has nothing to do with Aang at all. Of course. Dumbasses. I could have stopped Susan and stopped the war before it started. That is true. I offer you this wisdom, Aang. Could have prevented everything. You must be decisive. Basically told me he's got to do it. But how about a hug for your new grandfather? That's so exciting! <laughs> must be so happy to have found each other again. How about Grandpaku? <laughs> I love it. No. All old people know each other. Don't you know that? White Lotus. <laughs> mm. We're all part of 
part of the same ancient secret society, yep. a group that transcends the divisions of the four nations. Someone's missing from your group. Mm. Someone very. I forgot he was gonna be wandering. Where's Momo? Fool me the best. Yeah. <laughs> He's out of his mind. <sighs> Wait for this. Technically, he fell to his own doom because he was too stubborn to get out of the way. Personally, I don't really see the difference. <laughs> but I assure you, I would have done whatever it took to stop Chin. I offer you this wisdom, Ang. They're all telling him about the same thing. This is just not what he wants to hear. He's got to talk. I hope he can talk to the last airbending yeah, avatar. I'm sure so we can. <laughs> That'll do it. Look how long he's been there. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Oh, he's, he, he'll easily get out. I had no doubt. I hope he just wrecks everyone. You know he's gonna. Yeah. It's like a landslide. Yeah. <laughs> he's just launching the houses. Launching their buildings. Yeah. Like they built like factories or whatever. Feel it, a bridge. Yep. <laughs> I love him. That's exactly how I expected it to go. When I was young, I was always a go with the flow. We were right though, it was all the past avatars. I lost the woman I loved to code. Co. Oh, that's who that was. It was my fault. Damn it, we finally figured that out. You must actively shape your own destiny and the destiny of the world. Another one saying the same thing. That's why I'm curious to see what the air one says. I feel like he needs to hear it from the air. I avatar. think that would be the most powerful, yeah. My uncle hates me, I know it. He loved me no and supported way. me in every way he could. And I still turned against him. Can't wait for that. He's faking it. No, I already do that. I think he's just happy to see him, yeah. <sighs> so happy. You're right. Maybe an air nomad avatar will understand where I'm coming from. Yep. I know that you are a gentle spirit, and the monks have taught you well. But this isn't about you. Mm -hmm. This is about the world. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs and do whatever it takes to protect the world. Hmm. I love the way she explained that. You knew that one was going to hit. I was trying to figure out what she might say to him, you know? While, his, he, while what the monks taught him was correct, it's good for just regular monks, not the avatar. It doesn't apply to the avatar, is what yeah, she basically essentially said. Protector of the earth. Yeah. I am so sorry and ashamed of what I did. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you. But... Yes. Thank you. We all knew he was going to do it. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. I did lose my way. He just gets better and better every time. And I'm so happy you found your way here. It wasn't that hard, Uncle. You have a pretty strong scent. <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Yep. I'm getting everything I want in this episode. Now it's time for some real training with Uncle Iroh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god, what the? It's a creature? That's what it looked like. It is. It looked like a bear claw. A brother killing a brother to grab power. Mm -hmm. The only way for this war to end the peacefully avatar. is for the Avatar to defeat the Fire Lord. They're trying to find, like, workarounds, and it has to be this one way. Someone new must take the throne. Mm -hmm. An idealist with a pure heart and unquestionable honor. King <laughs> Zuko. Yes, you, Prince Zuko. Yep. This is what we were guessing, like, at the beginning of the season. You must return to the Fire Nation so that when the Fire Lord falls, you can assume the throne and restore peace and order. That means he's, he's got to fight Azula, Azula to death. will be there waiting for you. Katara, how would you like to help me put Azula in her place? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. <laughs> yeah, of course she's going to say what yes. about us? Thank you, Master. <laughs> I love how even Sokka's got a Master. I love how the White Lotus is just total badasses throughout. I'm going to reconquer my tea shop, and I'm going to play pie show every day. I sure hope so. You deserve it. Today, the 
destiny is our friend. I know it. Iroh just is amazing. It's not even close that he's the best character he by far. <laughs> he just is incredible. He doesn't even have to do anything. He hasn't even really fought. <laughs> he's hardly been in this season and he's still my favorite. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this thing. Jesus. It's like a lion a dragon or something or other. A lion turtle. Darkness thrives in the void. What the? What did he just do to him? Clear the chakra. He will come? Is that what he said? Yeah. Well, here it comes. I think we are going to see him do some crazy shit. That was when he had that dream. Yeah. Way back when. Hands down, my favorite episode of the show. Loved so, it. <laughs> not even what close. What do you think that that lion turtle did? You think he just, like, do you think he cleared his chakras, or you think he just gave him, like, knowledge, and who the fuck's coming? It's both those questions. Is what? I don't know. Yeah. How I can we know? I literally got everything I wanted in that episode. Iroh? Hmm. That was a great, great meetup. Yeah. We had talked about it well, maybe three or four episodes ago, I think. Maybe even less. About how we thought, we were like, wait a minute. What, what, someone's going to have to go be up with the White Lotus. Right, because why would they have the tile anyway? Not that they it, didn't it, actually need the tile. No, but they, just in general, the White Lotus group, like, we knew we were going to get more of them. Yeah. For sure. Which we did. In a big that was way. a cool ass group. I love how it's just all old masters. But what's cr what's crazy is, th do they not think? Yeah, they they don't think Ozai's coming there. And he's on the he's on the edge of town. I find it hard to believe that they wouldn't know that. Maybe not. No, well, no, they, they about to know the Fire Nation's coming, but that, I doubt they think that Ozai himself is coming. Well, they made, that's what it made it seem like because. Maybe, because Iroh did say, like, you have to go back to reclaim the throne. You have to be there when Aang takes him out. So he does right, think so he's there. But they also were saying that they can... Toph said that they have to go help, def like, take out the air fleet. So they know that there's an invasion coming. So why wouldn't they think either Azula and No, or the air... F I thought that she meant, like, the air fleet in the Fire Nation. Yeah, because they're still there. They haven't left yet, but... I thought that was just... That that wasn't him standing on the edge of Ba Sing Se? Was it? I don't think so. That's what I thought. Oh, maybe. Then that, if that's the case, then yeah. I could be wrong. Like, I figured they he could would, be leaving now. I figured he would wait and be at his place to, to do to whatever he's going to do. Power. And then go. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. It depends what, what, what... I don't know if that matters. That's what I was wondering, too. Like, what does he have to do to it to harness its power? Or you know? is it just because that's coming, like, it's going to make him strong? But... Yeah, but he's got to do something with it. Would, yeah, because then it would just disappear. Left, right. So I wouldn't really. I feel like he's got to like keep it and like have it stay there somehow, you know? Or I don't know. I don't really know how that would work. Yeah. And I oh, and another thing I forgot about. We got we finally got Ang talking to the past avatar, all the avatars. And I like the Airbender the most. Yeah. The Waterbender was cool as hell too, though. Yeah, because they, what's his name, stole uh, his, was his wife's. Yeah. And that made sense because I remember when we watched that one when Co the he, he turned into that and guy. He, oh no, the wife. No, he turned into the wife. Yeah. Or did he also he turned into that guy too? Because he said, "I've known past avatars." And that's how he died. He put right? that face up, and we didn't know who that was. No, he, he put up the girl's face. Yeah, and then he put up that guy's face. Because yeah, because he even said uh, Co said that back in that episode. He goes, "One of, oh, I know you're like the avatars. Like one of you tried to come and right. do whatever." Yep. Yeah. That makes total sense. That was an awesome episode, man. Boomy. Oh, that's right. Zhang Zhang. Uh, another thing. We got to finally see how Boomy got out. That's another thing I wanted to see for... In, su in his... such a boss way. Because that was so long ago. Yeah. We haven't seen Boomy since they left Boston, say, the first time. Yeah. That, that, that was, was like when we were just meeting two. Azula. 
It was the begin towards the beginning of season two, I think, right? Or like yeah. the middle, something like that. Yeah, that's been a while, and it was just as badass as I was hoping it would be. Yeah, it was inc- it was awesome. He just sat there and waited, and he <laughs> took over the city by himself. Yeah, I love like the way he did it too. He was just sitting there and goes, "Oh, eclipse." Sure now. So that's what I was also wondering. So he took back the city. So like, was that report that was given to Ozai kind of not right? Is he going there thinking that the Fire Nation still is like? Well, they don't control. I don't think they control Bossing Say yet. That's what they're going in there. Like, oh, that's there. right. Uh, Boomy's from Mas- uh, Mashu. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my bad. That's what I meant before. So yeah, when they left Omashu, like that was that's a long that's time ago now. Towards yeah. the beginning of season two, I think, at least. Because they got to a monster in the beginning of season two, that's right? That's right, yeah. I had those confused. Dang. But that's what I'm saying. Like, Iroh and them and the White Lotus group are going in to retake... Bossing Zay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which I feel like they should. Just after it should be. It seems like it should be fairly easy. I know Bossing Zay is <laughs> twice the size. And they but it's not going group. to be easy because that's where the Fire Nation sending the, the well, brunt of their too. force. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yep. He wants... Ozai wants to eliminate Ba Sing Se from existence. Right. Right? Just Ba Sing Se or all of the Earth nations? I would imagine all of the Earth nations. But I feel like... He'll probably just start with Ba Sing Se and then the rest will fall pretty easily. Yeah. He's very confident. Yeah. And I really want to see what he can do with that thing. I know. That thing is... like. He was already badass when he did that light when Zuko redirected... The way he like did it was outrageous. Like... Yeah, you know that he's super strong. Even uh, Iroh said, like, I I'm could mo- fight him, but I'm not positive that I could even take him. <laughs> but I love how there is a chance that he could beat him, too. Yeah, of course. It's your brother. <laughs> I know. You know. Your little brother, and too. And your younger brother, right. Of course you could. Uh, I could probably definitely kick his ass. I loved his explanation. Every explanation we got, like, the way uh, the airbender avatar said it to Aang about, like, the monks were right in what they taught you. Right. But... That because doesn't apply. Of your role because on just, this earth. He goes, you're not real, or she goes, you're not really. Like you are a monk, but you are also not. Because she's you're a, more he's a combination of all four. Yeah, you, you have to make a sacrifice. You can't live just that one life because they can't. You know, you got to take a little bit of each. Yeah, they all gave him very similar advice, and then uh, even the lion turtle gave him ultimately the same advice that you kind of have. You you can do like. Not evil tasks, but like tasks like that, and not harden your heart. Like it doesn't make you. You're not a bad person right. for having to do something bad for a good reason. Exactly. You know what I mean? To better humanity, to save the world. Like you know what I mean? Like. Well, it would make I sense. I get where Ang's coming from too, though. Oh, one hundred percent. And then when... whole, it's crazy that Zuko's the one pushing it. Like you have to kill him. It's his father. I know. <laughs> yeah, he beats a piece of shit. He knows. He, he yeah, knows I know. That. I know. But I'm just saying. And then, uh, yeah, mainly I just want to know what the lion turtle did to him. That's, we got to find out. Because he was like, Because now he's just sitting there waiting for somebody to show up. Right. It could be anybody. Well, is he waiting there for him? Is he, I think he's just, I think he's going to go back and try and find them now, but. I don't know. Because now that he just watched the comet coming. And who is he? He Right, that's what, that's the, that's the big key. I guess the best guess would be the guru again, but other than him, I don't know who else. It That's would be. what I mean. Yeah, if it's not the guru, like there's no way for us to know because it can't be anybody else that we've met already. Everybody's already together. Boomy's, John, all of them are together. Yep. I don't, I don't know. know either, pal. I don't know. Anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.